All right, guys. Here we are. Famous Palm Cove. As you guys can see, we've got some pretty bad rain. Look at this little creek here. Last time I was here, this creek was uh, cut off, but now it's uh, opened up again. Yeah. Good place to get some bait. Very wet and rainy, guys. The water does look a bit uh, murky, but uh, let's head down to the jetty over there and um, see if there's anything good over there. Yeah, guys, walking on the G now. Just some sightseeing today. Man. Pretty rough. Look at the size of those swells. <laughs> oh. Prawn trawlers. You guys see what I mean about uh, they catching prawns here? Yeah, look at those prawn trawlers hiding behind the island there. Uh, they're catching prawns somewhere around here. Double island. Water's definitely murky, guys. This side as well. Wow. So right now the weather's blowing about 20 25 knots out near Arlington. So yeah, no good fishing. So I'm just gonna be here just scouting, looking around, see if there's any uh potential good places for chasing some land-based Mackies. But right now, the colour of the water. It doesn't look too good. You guys there fishing. Just took a couple of fellas there. They didn't catch an only shark. So, um, yeah. So, uh, as you guys can see, I'm getting battered by the rain. I'm just trying to keep the camera out of the rain's way so it doesn't get onto the lens. But, here we are. Right at the front of, uh, right at the end of the Palm Cove jetty. And just looking out front, I'm just blocking the, um, the lens from the rain. Oh, I'll just show you guys now. No blue water. <laughs> so we've got no blue water, so uh, yeah, no mackerel for a bit. But yeah, this place, it's a very popular public fishing spot, guys. Nice popular fishing spot. Uh, usually it gets uh, pretty busy here yeah, during the Mackie run. But uh, right now we got some pretty bad weather. Look at the rain. Look at that. And the big swells. So no blue water, no Mackie. Uh, let's hope that it clears off the next week or so. And then uh, when you come here, I'll keep coming back here to scout and when we find some blue water or clear and clean water we should be able to throw a few slugs or uh, come here and have a look maybe get some people um, pull in some big mackies here they have been catching some just before the rain it was all over the news too but uh, the rain came and it spoiled everything uh, so be sure to check this place out guys Palm Cove Jetty uh, it's probably the only place I know that you can catch mackerel land base here and obviously uh, the other side uh, of Kansas Yarraba. So um, yeah, I've made some uh, videos of land based fishing locations so make sure you guys check the southern side of that area where, uh, so you know where it is and this is the northern end as well so make sure you check those two videos out. Uh, I get some land based fishing spots. But as you can see, I'm getting completely drenched now. Uh, so I better head back. Oh, rough. Real rough, guys. Camera's getting all messed up. Lucky it's waterproof. And uh, let's head back inside. So, no go for now, guys. You want to catch sharks? Well, yeah. <laughs> There's always plenty of sharks. Let's head back. Uh, usually the odd barra usually likes hanging around under these jetties. Quite popular. So 
some rocks over there you guys can climb and fish too gone over there before and just around there is the nudie beach that's right guys <laughs> and there's a nude beach too which is just around there you can get from uh the main road and it's the first turn off to the beach and then you walk into the little cove and there's a nude beach there yeah. hey you want to get loose guys <laughs> go and check that place out cast nets here pretty rough weather boys jetty under there look at that mm, real rough there we go just getting out of the rain Oh, that is a little crab there. Good bait. If you guys can catch them, Brim loves it. Crabs. And oh, I'm getting, it's getting real rough now. You guys want it look like? It's getting real rough. <laughs> oh man. Oh, look at the rain coming sideways. Uh, definitely 25 knots at least. Woo. Hello everybody, I'm just here, just hiding behind one of these barbecue huts at Palm Cove. Looking out. Woo, man. Pretty rough. So I'll let you guys know. I've been doing some beach fishing lately with the small tides in the morning and haven't had much luck so I hope you guys are doing better but uh look at it look at it smashing white caps everywhere <laughs> huge at least two meter swells I reckon yeah at least two meter swells blowing 20 25 knots guys I guess it's all at the beginning of the creek fishing and uh, hopefully if this rain does stop we'll push some more prawns and crabs down and we'll get some more prawns and crabs uh, if you guys go and plan to do some uh, fishing out the front you'll need to some of this <laughs> and uh, it's pretty bad guys no blue water or clean water close to the jetty so no mackerel or anything like that but if you want to chase sharks uh, a few guys over there said they've got sharks, so yeah, maybe sharks and rays. Um, yeah, have a look for yourself, guys. Uh, here's a little update of what's going on up here in Cairns. We've been battling with some pretty rough weather, so uh, fishing's been pretty tough for me anyway. Uh, uh, let's hope this weather gets better. Hopefully we get to hopefully we'll get to do some more fishing soon. Stay safe out there guys. A little bit of sightseeing in this video, a little short one. Just give everyone an update of what's going on. And don't forget guys when, the, when this weather does clear up, come chase some mackerel here at Palm Cove or over at Yarraba the other side where the blue, uh, blue water meets uh, the coast. Don't forget to check my two videos out, the southern end and northern end. Uh, you want to know where it is? See you guys to the next one. Woo! <laughs>